Oh my goodness, we're here at the Budokan. In Tokyo, Japan. This is fantastic. We're at the Budokan. I'm playing with my band, Mr. Big. And I can't wait. It's going to be an amazing show tonight. And uh, But let's get right to it. Want to look at some pedals? Yes, like a gear run. I've got my pedal board. You want to check it out? Yes, sir. Okay. <laughs> well, today I'm using something that I hardly ever use, which is a wireless system. It's such a big gig. So the, the first thing is the wireless that I've rented. Mm -hmm. It seems to be working good so far. That goes straight to my little pedal board. And my little pedal board, I've got an A-B switcher. Yes. So that way I can switch between my, my main guitar. Yes. And I can also play my, you know, my little teeny guitar. And this, this one's tuned with, it's got three strings on it. You can see here, I'll show it to you. It's got three strings tuned in, in octaves. And that way I can do this crazy, you know. Now, it kept going, and that's, that's from, from my uh, delay pedal. So the way that works is... Uh, if you play something and you also oh, it just keeps going so that's that from there it goes to my big pedal board and uh, the first thing I've got is a compressor I use that for a clean sound so I, I turn off my distortion pedal turn on the compressor there we go and I turn my, my uh, flanger on and I get a nice sparkly So that's my, my clean sound, and but uh, usually I have, going into the end here, I've got my Mojo Mojo GC electronic pedal on all the time when I'm not playing clean, which is pretty much all the time. And uh, then I've got one, this one's kind of disguised, it's a, um, what is that one? A Voodoo Labs uh, Micro Vibe, which gives me that sort of wah, 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 wah you know. <laughs> Robin Trowery thing. As we talked about before, I've got my flanger. It's an old vintage ADA flanger. Just a little swirly, you know, late 70s, 80s kind of sound. And then we get to uh, all the distortion pedals. I, I, I have my amp running totally clean. So if I just turn off, if I've got like, you know, right now I've got everything bypassed. Uh, I mean, the delay's still on, but <laughs> the, uh, that's what the Marshall sounds like, so it's really clean. So almost all the time I've got my TC uh, Mojo Mojo pedal, that's my main tone. So if I, and that, it, it sort of gives me like a medium amount of distortion, you know, like. You know. And so, you know, that's, um, that's enough where I can play really dynamically. Like if I, we have a song that goes like this, where I go. I can play with my fingers and it, I can control it. And then, of course, for, for, for the rock songs, I always turn on a couple more distortion pedals. <laughs> so I've got an AC booster, which is kind of the thick, you know. And, but again, that's in combination with the Mojo Mojo. So that's two overdrives together going into a cleanup. And then I also have the, the Distortion Plus. I tend to use that. That actually kind of thins out the sound, which makes it a little easier for picking. So if I'm going to do, and then, then I'll like actually turn on all three pedals. I'll turn AC booster on, and then I'll turn the, the MXR Distortion Plus on. <laughs> So it's, that's a nice picking attack. Now the thing is, with three distortion pedals, that can be really noisy. So I put the um, MXR Distortion Plus inside the TC Sentry noise gate. So that way, you know, I, I, can, I can turn that one on and there's no increase in noise at all. But I've got, you know, a nice rock sound ready to go. And I can still play pretty dynamically. So that's really nice to be able to... And I've, it's been such a long time since I used a noise gate. And this one just works so good. 
and so easy to set because the LED tells you when it's in and out. It's, I, was, I was really happy with that one. And the other pedal that I have on all the time is the, uh, the TC Alter Ego delay. And you can hear, you know, just that little slap, which especially, I mean, the, this is the Budokan, so there's, you know, there's some reverb in the room. But sometimes you get to a room that's like really dry and you just feel like naked. And, and this one, you know, it puts some clothes on. It, 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 it just makes you a little more comfortable when you're playing so, so I don't get nervous. And it's just nice having that little bit, because basically it, it, makes it makes every room sound like the Budokan. Yes. To have that little, you know, the, the same kind of thing. So that's just, I never turn that off. That's on all the time. Uh, from, from there we go to my, my Marshall. Uh, this is a like, vintage style, 100 watt head, 1959 SLP. It's a reissue, it's not, a, you know, it's not actually old, but it's an old design. And I just have it set up you know, in the second channel, which is, which is a little warmer, and uh, going through both cabinets. I stack it, stack it up so I can hear it, because it just goes right to my ears. And that's, that's pretty much it. That's my uh, electric guitar setup. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you. For the pedals that I leave on all the time. Thank you. <laughs>